Davis is not a regular patient. She is studying to be a physician assistant at George Washington University and taking an elective in integrative medicine. Participating in treatments is strongly encouraged. In most of my training as a physician assistant, we look at a patient's history and symptoms and then we come up with a, quote, differential diagnosis. Here we focus much more on the symptoms of, as indicative of entire lifestyle and um, symbolic of larger issues. The Center for Integrative Medicine at the George Washington University Medical Center was founded in 1998 by Dr. John Pan, who had practiced as an obstetrician and gynecologist for more than 25 years. He says the center has about 6,000 patient visits a year. Most have tried conventional medicine. They've gone to Hopkins, they've gone to the Mayo Clinic, they're not solving their problem. They're told that nothing can be done. You have to live with it. And they're seeking the last resort. Patients like Anna Sterud. After a two-year battle with ovarian cancer, including surgery, chemotherapy, and a clinical trial, she decided to try vitamin C infusions. I'm very much for scientifically proven uh, methods of treatment, uh, but, but when you feel that your time is starting to run out, you, you just got to go 100% and look for alternatives, and that's what I did. With more Americans turning to alternatives, in 1998, the U.S. government founded the National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine as part of the National Institutes of Health. Dr. Josephine Briggs is the center's director. Our job here at the National Institutes of Health is, is to bring uh, really good science to these really interesting uh, practices. Practices that are considered outside mainstream medicine, like the use of dietary supplements, meditation and yoga, as well as chiropractic adjustments, acupuncture, Reiki or therapeutic touch, and massage. A survey by the NIH in 2007 indicated 4 in 10 Americans use one of these practices, most often to treat pain. And I think that the, the extent to which Americans are interested in these practices uh, is a good reason for them being studied. We do uh, do our best to provide reliable information on our website uh, about methods. Uh, that material is all very carefully reviewed by peers and scientific experts. Testing some alternative therapies can be difficult. Scientists still aren't certain how acupuncture works. There may be direct effects uh, uh, of the stimulation on the nervous system that change pain, pain processing, and our researchers are, are looking at those questions. But part of this may be expectation and the reassurance of the practitioner, the effect of the ritual. Some people would call that a placebo effect. Um, if it helps, however, it's worth knowing about. Dr. Deirdre Orser is both a naturopathic physician and Chinese medicine practitioner at the Center for Integrative Medicine. She sometimes uses acupuncture for her patients. I try my best to use it in conjunction with the more Western model, um, whether it's natural or sort of conventional, and bring that in as a perspective and also as a healing modality. That's the philosophy behind integrative medicine, to complement Western treatments with other methods. For me, it was very important to do both, uh, because I believe in the scientifically approved um, methods. Anna Stirud is encouraged that her oncologist has asked her to share information on her experience at the Center for Integrative Medicine. Susan Logue, VOA News, Washington.